My name is Joan Whitson, and I'm with the Early Learning Coalition of North Florida. Spring is here, and I'm going to show you today how to make this beautiful hyacinth flower craft with your kids. When I first saw this, I was so excited because I thought, it's just beautiful. And when you see how simple it is to make, you're going to love it as well. All you need to make this craft is white paper, some blue or purple paint, um, and some green paper and a glue stick. Let's get started. First, you take your white paper and you can do two things. First, you're going to need to make your stems and you can either draw a stem with a green magic marker or you can have your child cut out um, three skinny strips just like that and then you have them glue it onto the paper. Once that's done, then you get to have the fun about making your flowers. Now what's so great about this is you make the flowers with the end of a glue stick. This is going to be the best paintbrush kids will ever use. You just take some paint, put it on your plate, and you dip the glue stick into the end, just like that. It makes the perfect circle. And then you um, have them press down on the paper, all, just like this, all along, going up one side of the stem and down the other stem. And they just keep pressing it. And sometimes you can get two circles out of one. Keep putting it back in the paint. And you keep going like this until you get all the way up the top. And then you go all the way down. And you do that until you, you've got all, you've gone up and down all three stems. Now I'd recommend then you let this dry before you put the stems on. And once it's dry, then um, all you do is um, glue this, I did four, you just glue your stems on like so. Now if, if the kids, that's when you use your green paper. Now if the kids are good at counting, just let them freestyle and cut out their own um, stems. Otherwise if you think they need a little help, then you could use a marker and create a stem with the guideline like I did and then have the kids just follow along and cut out along the pattern that you drew. Then you just have them um, glue it onto the paper and it turns out so beautiful. And when I first saw this, I thought, these would make gorgeous cards. So I made an example of how um, a card would turn out. I just took cardstock, folded it in half, and um, you know, just did two. And isn't that gorgeous? This would be the greatest Mother's Day card to give. And another thing I think would be really neat to make out of this is if you had a canvas um, to make the same craft on a canvas. What a beautiful gift that would be um, for grandparents or, or Mother's Day. You can get canvases now at the Dollar Tree for just a dollar. So I really hope that you'll try this craft. It's beautiful and it'll just it'll bring spring to your classroom and to your home. Please um, subscribe to our ELC of North Florida YouTube page and you'll be able to see more videos like this and learn a lot of really cool stuff. Thanks for watching. Bye.